This video will help to explain how to fit the white Shape It link and how to adjust from the low to high setting. The Shape It link will fit all white FRS bikes that already come fitted with a shock extender. To start we need to make sure that we have all the required parts. This includes the link, offset brass bushing, DU bush and lastly the fixing bolt. Then to check the tools required, firstly a DU bush press, an 8mm, 6mm and T25 bit, a torque wrench and finally an allen key and torque set. Firstly to start, the rear wheel need to be removed. Then using your 6mm allen key, remove the linkage bolt connecting the shock extender to the linkage. Then repeat on the other side. At this point we would recommend wrapping something around the down tube to protect it from any knocks when removing the shock. Using your T25, undo and remove the front shock mount. Then remove the shock. Taking your 8mm and 6mm allen key, remove the shock extender bolt. Then remove the extender from the shock. Keep the link and washer safe if you ever wish to refit in the future. Taking your DU bush, press into the bottom eyelet of the shock using the press. You then fit the brass insert depending on your setup preference. The shock extender is then fitted to the shock. The markings inside the link confirm which way to fit the insert to get the high or low setting. Before securing in place with a supplied bolt, apply a small amount of grease to the bolt. Now using your 6mm allen key, fit the bolt as indicated, tightening to 15 Nm. You will need to brace the shock to prevent it from spinning. When reinstalling back into the frame, make sure the shield washers are still in place. Then using the mounting hardware for the top of the shock, tighten using your T25 to 6 Nm. We then refit the linkage using your 6mm allen key. This may involve lifting the rear wheel to help with alignment. Talking to 24 Nm. Finally reinstall the rear wheel and you're ready to go.